yeah we have covered basically the most in uh, web designing web development um so basically someone right now can develop a website without any hindrances um revoga brand from bookland high school okay today we are here at chambogo college school and uh, we have over 70 teachers uh who have come from different parts of the country from northern uganda from western uganda from central uh, the main focus for today's workshop is website design. Website design is a topic on uh, the senior for ICT syllabus. And uh, in this syllabus, we aim at competencies, building competencies for the world of work. We have been passing through tools here uh, that teachers should be able to use to give to pass on skills to learners, uh, skills, uh, relevant skills and current skills. We started with programming. You cannot be a website developer without uh, coding. Coding is foundation, HTML, the foundational knowledge. So teachers did some lab, lab activities with HTML using VS Code and uh, went through the HTML structure and basic tags. And then after that, we realized the websites we're creating were only static. And yet, in the current era, we want dynamic websites. So these are database-driven websites which are easy to update and easy to use. And uh, we saw WordPress as the most popular tool for creating these websites right now. We went through the process of installing localhost server and also installing WordPress. And now currently we are looking at building a website, a dynamic website using WordPress. So in all this, we are encouraging teachers to use relevant tools, current tools, tools that learners will find in the market uh, and use them so that they can um, make beautiful websites. So this is the, the first uh, website workshop organized by Shareability. We plan to do more workshops across the country as we uh, engage teachers uh, so that they can be able to be equipped to prepare their learners and even themselves. This is a vocational skill they can use to earn extra income alongside their teaching. I've learned how to create a website using WordPress. Then HTML, I'm Kaga Brenda from St. Peter's. We have been going through the things. One of the topics we are supposed to teach this term is web design. And uh, we realize it's also a vocational skill because learners can learn it. And when they learn in the work, we expect them to be able to support organizations with their updates, to websites and update them. Unfortunately, many of us in the old culture have been teaching theoretically, that has just pass and get the one, but when we can't do even a website after they are they are So the main thing I've been looking at has been doing websites and making sure that we can support our school. Because many of us ICT teachers were in charge of supporting ICT in our schools. So the skills that we have here, we should be able to go and develop websites. So our school should have websites. Oh support in that community. The experience was good. The training is shareability. Uh, we've learned different ways of designing a website, learning for it. So now we are going to see how we can easily make the plugins. What's your name? My name is Warren Mirimo, St. Rosias, College of My name is Madam Jambo Evelyn. I stay in Kasangati, but I teach in Jinja, the school called Nyanza High School, the best school over there. I teach geography and computer. And currently teaching ICT, we have an association that combines all of us. And that is the ICT teachers association we are in that oh. group so whichever update that is there we get to be updated via that group so i saw the advert in the group and i said i could not miss this opportunity i have to come and attend because learning does not end learning does not end so i had to come and get new new ideas share with my fellow colleagues and see how we can push in our field and make our students succeed too in the same field. The experience all was good. I learned about new skills of using the 
is it wordpress wordpress to design a web page yeah and it was indeed good because most of us we've been used of using h that is html to design the web page but now we've got to learn some new ideas of how to come up with a web page what i can tell a person that has not been able to come in this session i request such a person when other opportunities come like this let them please come and attend because they are not bad they are good and learning does not end and they are what i know they are more and more uh sessions are still coming so let them sacrifice some time come and attend them they are good my name is Nabatele Garesti. I'm coming from Masaka. You said Sacramento. It's a Chimania. Yeah. I have enjoyed everything. Actually, there is a lot of learning. On addition of what we have been teaching, there is more interaction with more experienced people in different fields, moreover. Some happy to be part of the event. I just encourage them to attend in other functions which will be held. I think. These people are not going to stop. They can continue preparing more and more. So I welcome them. They have missed today, but they don't miss other days. I'm part of the ICT Teachers Association, the WhatsApp group. What? I know all those colleagues, the, the, the hosts, have always been with them, sharing. So I learned a lot. Actually, I'd learned a little bit of okay. it, but I've tried to learn hey, more and I'm sure that I'm going to, oh, oh, to make it this time and achieve my goal. So I, I know I can do better now. So my colleagues, I'm going to tell them that yes. My name is Agava Lucky. Yes, I'm a teacher of ICT here at uh, Chambogo College School. Uh, I came to this event simply because I wanted to share knowledge with my colleagues. Being an ICT personnel, not only a teacher, but an ICT expert. Yes, I've done computer science uh, from Chambogo University, and I've acquired a lot of skills which I believe can help my colleagues outside there, both the teachers and those who are not teachers. So that's what brought me to this workshop. Yes, my experiences uh, are that uh, I've been able to help out a few people about some things uh, like they did, didn't know. I've also learned some from them. Probably ICT is broad. You cannot cover everything and you say that you know it all. At the end of the day, you realize that there is something that you don't know and another person knows. So at the end of the day, you find that it is a win-win situation. You benefit as well as they also benefit. So that has been a very good experience and interaction between us. For someone who has not attended surely they have missed a lot. They have missed a lot uh, because as we know, uh, as we all know, education is costly. If you are to go, the session we have just had for one day, you can have that knowledge for the entire three years at the university, learning how just to develop websites. But what we have had today, they were basics, but very rich in the knowledge so somebody is going to live here when they have the basic knowledge on how to begin so the rest of the information they can get from internet they can follow youtube videos and other sources but at least having the basic knowledge what we call maybe the the foundation which is very key in education my name is Nakaria Ibnil from St. Henry's Girls SSBA I've gained a lot. I'm so hopeful that um, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to carry the software. I go back, I continue teaching myself so that I can deliver effectively to my students. Most of them are teachers of ICT. I've actually run a program from Northern Uganda. Northern Uganda. Those from Western, Western Uganda, Western Uganda, 
you get what? Okay, those from Eastern, Eastern Uganda. Oh. Hey, those who have lost the bridge. And those from Pedro. Pedro, so you will have Kampala and then So, these teachers, uh, we have been going through this scheme. This is a scheme of work for senior for term one. We, the new curriculum requires a lot of things. Teach learners confidence. This was uh, the scheme yesterday. Good evening, noble colleagues. How are you? I'm Stanley Mugume. I'm a teacher here, Chamber College School. Because the head teacher is a teacher. Yes. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, allow me to appreciate the facilitators for the very good job well done. Can you clap for them? For me, learning is uh, learning is very, very, very important. Some of us have uh, traveled overseas and uh, abroad for learning. I've attended many workshops in Uganda because of ASHU, Association of Secondary School Head Teachers of Uganda, and uh, I think almost in every district in Uganda. I know almost all districts in Uganda. If you talk about Chegegu, I've been there. Talk about Fort Porto, I've been there. Talk about Kabare, I've been there. Kisoro, I've been there. Arua, I've been there. All those places are visited because of Association of Secondary School Head Teachers of Uganda. Uh, that issue has helped many head teachers because in that association, that's where we have, we always have workshops. We always have workshops. And these workshops have helped uh, very young head teachers to manage administration. For me, I have been a head teacher for the last 24 years. Yes, for the last 24 years, I've been a head teacher. I started the headship when I was a young man, but now I've grown and uh, I'm soon leaving the service. In the next five to six years, I'll be retiring. Um, I've also traveled far and wide. Overseas, I've been to Europe, I've been to UK, I've been to Northern Ireland, I've been to China, I've been to, to America, Washington, Washington, D.C., I've been... And all these places I've gone to has been because of what? Workshops. I want to appreciate you teachers, especially those that have come from very far. Barara, Chegegwa, Northern Uganda come here and learn. You need to add value on yourself. And how I wish the person who invited you had organized a certificate. Do you have certificates for them? Oh, very good. Yes. You need to give them certificates. And uh, the knowledge you have acquired, you have to ensure that you transfer that knowledge to your students. Because there are those people who study things. And when they go back, they keep their knowledge and they say, for me, I don't want to share. During my time when I was a student, we had some boys who could, uh, when they had some books, that uh, maybe they knew that those books had certain information, and they could find him having his torch and is re reading uh, 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 the book in the what? Under the blanket. I wouldn't love you to behave like that. Knowledge must be what? Shared. So when you go back, also sit down and organize a what? A workshop in your area, in your region. Kind of organize a workshop and invite people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is also very important, those who are holding degrees, go and do master's degree. The sky is no longer the what? The limit. The moment you study, there are so many chances. For me, I started as a diploma teacher. That is a diploma from diploma. After around two years, I did my degree. After five years, I did my master's. I want now to begin my PhD. As a diploma person, isn't it? I still have teachers whom I started with and they are still holding diplomas. I still have them and I know them. But they have never been promoted. 
up to date and they are crying when they meet me you are very lucky so you are a head teacher you are very lucky but i added value on my self do all what is necessary to ensure that you plan for your retirement many teachers have suffered because for them they are improving schools but they are forgetting about themselves yes for me as i improve chabo college i am also i have to improve myself yes i have to improve my what as the school grows grows i have also to grow i get the point yes so as a teacher work hard get the decisions in the school fine but what are you doing at home do you have any are you, are you saving any investment <laughs> eh are you paying fees for your children or oh, your children are at home and you are, you are educating other children for other people isn't it so think about investment and avoid the following one alcohol two avoid women womanizing yes because i have seen your age 30 bagamba especially those people in kampala here they want at that age to move around go to beaches every weekend avoid those things because they will cause you what trouble they will eat your money eh? these days science teachers when they go to money they married more than one wife now <laughs> <laughs> and for me i've been telling them you will find that there are people who are asking advances in the college here science teachers yeah, they are getting how much million 2.8 but i already see them bring requisition in my office but for me as a science teacher i don't make any requisition so planning for the money you are receiving is very very what so i don't want to add on more allow me to appreciate you for being very patient and accepting to learn many people don't want to learn thank you for accepting to do what to learn and thank you for inviting these people sir for adding value on them I notice God who is going to bless you. I declare the workshop closed. Uh, good evening, members. I want to thank everyone for coming today. Um, thank you for coming. We want to also say a word of thanks to the organizing committee of this workshop. We want to say thank you so much for organizing and hosting us. May God bless you, and we pray that next time when you have more of what you can achieve, you call us back. I personally have achieved today a lot, and I thank God for bringing me today. So as we conclude, I want us to have a word of prayer so that we are all back home safely. Let's humble ourselves and we pray. Father, I want to thank you for the gift of life you've given us. Thank you for protecting us today. I want to thank you for gathering us together. We want to thank you for the organizing committee of this workshop that have helped us uh, to achieve skills today. We pray that you give them more knowledge and wisdom so that next time they are able to call us again to come and learn more. We want to thank you. For everyone who has come, we pray that you bless us and protect us as we take steps back to go home. We pray that you help us protect us from all evils, protect us from the dangers of the roads, Lord. We pray that you bless us and protect us in all ways. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.